Show us some of the new stuff that fans will enjoy this baseball season, including food. Yeah. Hey, Kelsey. Got to have some new food. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have food, right? What's a baseball game without a little food and drink? So I want you guys to picture something. Picture the sun is up. It's about 2 o'clock this afternoon. You just get to Citizens Bank Park. You got a little time to kill before the game starts, and you think you're a little thirsty. Why wouldn't you want to stop by this beer garden and have a beer? So this used to be McFadden's. They've revamped it, rechanged it, moved some stuff around, added some stuff. It's looking real cool, and now it's called pass and stow but to tell us all about it we have got Kevin and he's the general manager of Citizens Bank Park. Kevin tell us the idea behind it and just what this space has to offer. It's beautiful. Sure so this is the largest project we've done since we've opened the place uh, in 2004 We're part of the opening team here. Last year we did you know both left field and right field with the new boardwalk area and the, um, the yard area so as you can see the third base gate biggest gate at the ballpark totally transformed. It's now part of the ballpark. Walls have come down, columns have come down to make it a free-flowing space outside the concourse. As you can see, giant beer garden, huge brick oven pizza, the Goose Island Bar, then obviously Pass and Stow. Like it, it, just a fantastic uh, new space here at the ballpark. And behind Pass and Stow is uh, our new sit-down um, Shake Shack restaurant, um, which is uh, on the concourse and part of this Pass and Stow space as well. So I'm going to have you walk this way with me for a minute. I know we've got some food to try, but on our way there, I'm going to just have you tell me a little bit about uh, obviously this is replacing McFadden's, sure. but there's a different concept here. You do have to have a ticket to get in to this space. It's now actually in the ballpark. That's correct. So this space is now inside of the ballpark, where in the past um, McFadden's was sitting a little bit separately. So as you as you come, as our fans come through the ballpark, you'll see walls have come down. It's now a free-flowing space out to the ballpark. So it is actually part of the ballpark now. Alright, well we're going to get to the best part. Although right. the space is beautiful, people are coming for the food. So that's where we're going now. We've got Chef Vani over here. He is the executive chef here at Pass and Stow, and he's going to tell us all about what this menu offers. I know uh, you guys have a pretty eclectic menu. I think when you come to a baseball game, some of the options you're about to tell us about, you don't necessarily expect. You don't. I think, you know, with the expectation of the guests walking the door from, from uh, dietary needs to vegetarian options to vegan options, that we want to cover all bases. So we, we during, during the off-season, we, we do some research and create some new items. So, yes. So tell us what we're looking at. Uh, I know we got some things that look a little healthy and some things that do do not, and that's what I'm eyeing up. They are even healthier. Now, this is a, this is our, our donut burger. It's a, a, a eight ounce patty with a American cheese, bacon, pepper relish on a nice donut, glazed donut. And then we got here, looks like some type of lettuce wrap. This, I don't know that I would pick this, but I know there are definitely some people out there that they would specifically be so excited that there was a healthy option like this. It's a cauliflower uh, lettuce wrap, a curried uh, cauliflower with a spiced chickpeas. And then this we've heard a lot about, Quest Loves Cheesesteak. So it's vegetarian, and I actually bit into it during our teas. I was a little skeptical. It is delicious, Chef. It's a good sandwich. You can not, I, I, I challenge anybody to, to, to see the difference between this and a real cheesesteak. It's a really good, really good sandwich. And what's it made out of to make it it's vegetarian? Soy, it's soy-based. Uh, that's, that's the base of the, of the, uh, the product itself. Uh, onions, cheese, and roll. And it's served with a pepper relish. So if someone is coming here, say they're coming to the game today, and they can order one thing, what are you going to tell them to order? I like the burger. Yeah. Well, if then, I guess I'm going to have to try the burger. So Nick and Demetria, I'm going to try this. Give me one second. Got to put the mic down. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know how to get my hands around this. Ooh, it's like sweet, spicy. Savory. It's like got some zest. Yep. Oh, wow. That's not at all what I was expecting, right. but it is delicious. It is a good burger. All right, so Nick, I can picture you out at the beer garden on a hot summer day enjoying a donut burger and a beer. What do you say? The donut burger looks amazing. That's the one I would look at. I'm not sold on the cheesesteak or the, the vegan cheesesteak yet. I know you say it's good. I'm not I promise sold on you. It. Demetria was looking at I it. I promise you, good. you wouldn't know it's vegetarian. Really? But I promise you, it's it. good. We have but to try this, it. Right. This is a must order. This is it definitely is a must, a must order. order. We're, Jen and I were talking about maybe those are your, that's your calorie intake for the next two days <laughs> if you have that donut. You burger. can't eat anything else <laughs> after that, all right? <laughs> right. This is it. Here. Gotta starve uh, myself all weekend. Awesome. All right, Kelsey, thank Love you. It. Oh, so many options there for I folks. Know.